Okay, imagine with me. What if in life, every activity that you did came with a built-in timer and a vibration sensation and sound that would signify to you that it was now time to stop doing that activity. Things like wasting hot water, pouring a cup of coffee, procrastinating, watching YouTube videos, watching drama channel YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, I love tea spills. Let's watch another. Drinking way too much coffee. I like how two out of all of the different activities are watching YouTube videos. Well, that would actually be super annoying now that I think of it like that. <laughs> when it comes to the dosist pen, the dosist pens can't help you with those activities, but they can help you to monitor and to control the amount of product that you're using in one sitting because that's what the dosist pen does. It basically times your doses each time you take a puff and it gives you a little vibration to let you know that it's now time to stop since you've hit one dose or you know you can keep going whatever but the whole point of the product is that it gives you that signal to say hey you hit a dose so now either do another one or stop <laughs> Some people, you guys know that we're here in Florida. This is a Florida medical marijuana YouTube channel. <laughs> so weird. So when I say that some people don't necessarily like love this product from what I understand, I'm mostly talking about people here in Florida because this is available in other states. I know it's available in California. I know it's available in other states. And it seems to have a pretty good reputation amongst other patients out in the US in states that have cannabis that's legal. But in my research, it didn't seem like everyone was super excited about this product here. So I don't know what that says about us here in Florida, but I think it's that everybody likes to really, really feel the effects of their medication, if you know what I mean. So if you are that person and you are trying to get as medicated as humanly possible, this probably won't be the one for you because the whole point, like I said, the whole point is that it's going to control the doses that you consume. So this is more for the newer patients, the people that are really hesitant to ingest a lot of cannabinoids, a lot of THC. People like me, I mean, honestly, I'm not mad at the product. I'm okay with the product. Not crazy, crazy about it just because I'm mm -hmm. poor and the price is like, it's hard for me to justify it when Certera themselves, the place that's selling these here in Florida, has disposable vape pens or non-refillable vape pens that are like $25 versus this one is $40. Take for example the Relief Certera pen, that one's $25 and it contains 230 milligrams of product whereas this one contains 185 milligrams of product so you're literally paying more for less product and that's one reason why I can't really justify buying this again. I don't think I can anyway. But aside from the price point, I do like the product. For me it's actually great because I am uh, the lightweight, if you will, these days. I don't really like to use that much cannabis in one sitting. I really prefer CBD products these days. I'm not so much looking for that THC fix. And when I am, I only want a little bit. That's just me. That's just where I'm at in life. I don't know if I'm ever gonna go back to using like more THC like I used to, but I am not really there right now in my life. So, so for me, I'm okay with it. I like it. I'm not crazy, crazy about it. But I think it's really cool. So I'll tell you a little bit more about this one. This is the Bliss Pen, and this one is the 9 to 1 THC to CBD ratio. It's pretty comparable, I think, to the Relief Pen from Sorterra, because that one is the same ratio of 9 THC to 1 CBD. This pen, the whole pen is 185 milligrams, supposedly. On the box, it says that there is that there's 1.49 milligrams of THC per dose and 0 0.16 milligrams of CBD per dose. Whereas on the Sorterra website, it says it's 2.5 milligrams per dose. So I'm a little confused on that one. I'm also confused about how 1.49 times 50 is supposed to add up to 185 milligrams. Doesn't really compute with me. That math doesn't really work out. So some of the math that I tried to do to figure out like exactly, you know, how much is in one drag and everything that I had a hard time figuring that out because there's some conflicting information. I think that what I take away from the amount of product in here is it is literally less than what's in the Sertera Wellness brand vape pens. So once again, those are $25. This one is $40. If you get the 200 dose versus the 50 dose is what this one is. If you get the 200 dose pen, that one is $100. 
not really crazy about the price point. That's really my that's really my only complaint is the price point. But and I think that's what most everyone else's complaint is too. I also read that like some people feel like you don't really get a strong drag out of it, which I say once again to that, it, it, this is for people that want a really small dose. So like that's what I that's that's what I take away from what I know about the product. So anyway, the taste of the product, I don't know. Let's whip it out and see. Here's the pen. It is so small and it's really cute. Okay, this is another thing that I do really like about the pen is the way it looks, the size is so small. It's so cute. It's literally like the size of my, it's smaller than my finger. I think it's like thinner than my finger. Oh my God, I have fat fingers. So I think it's so cute. The packaging is very, very cute, very modern, very with it. Comes in a little box. It has a little instruction manual. By the way, it does say, we'll insert recycling program. We care about the environment and are committed to bringing sustainable products into the world. Our dose pen uses recyclable material in the plastic case, shell, and electronic components. Return a used dose pen to a licensed retailer and receive a discount, okay, on your next dose's purchase. We'll pick it up and recycle the materials for you where allowed by state and local regulations. So, cool. That is good. I like that because um, I like recycling. I like trying to care for the world as much as I can. So I like that. I don't know how much the discount is at Sorterra. That would have been something to ask them. <laughs> but it does say in the insert that you get a discount on your next purchase if you bring in a used dose pen. Like I guess I should shut the fuck up about the price point because it literally says there's a, you get a discount if you bring one back. I'm not perfect. Okay, guys, I'm not perfect. So anyway, let's check it out. So let's do a drag of the dose pen. So yeah, you get like only a tiny bit of vapor on the exhale there. As you could see, the end lit up there when I was using it. I do like the way it tastes. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing like crazy. It doesn't really taste like anything in particular, except it does have a, you know, a weedy sort of flavor to it. I feel like I'm tasting some limonene in there. Is that right? Terpinoline is like the most terpenes in here, I guess. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, once again, I like it. I'm not mad at it. I think it's good. Oh, pro tip, if you want to open this plastic thing, the Sertera guy who brought this to me when I got it delivered, he was like, oh, these don't really open that well. So he kind of pried it open with his ID card that he had on his lanyard. But I read the instructions and all you do is if you squeeze the end of it, not the one, not the end where it slides out, but if you squeeze the opposite end and then you slide the pen out, boom, it comes out super easily from this plastic case. So, so that's cool. Overall, I am glad that I tried the Dosis pen. I have mixed feelings about it. Yes, I do. I really do. Just because I am not super loaded with money um, and I do live on a budget. So I just because I know that I can literally get more product for $15 less if I just get the relief pen from Sertera, uh versus this pen. So, so maybe one day when I become rich, because I'm still <laughs> hoping that's going to happen one day somehow for me, one day when I am doing financially a lot better. <laughs> I would love to buy this again. I don't really I don't really have any qualms with it aside from the price. So there's that, guys. That's pretty much the Dosis pen, the Dosis Bliss pen that is. I don't know. I don't know if if I want to try the other strains. I don't know. I'm kind of to the point where I'm like starting to figure out what products I really do like and I'm kind of like I like trying new things. I really I st I'm glad that I tried this. Like I said, I'm super glad I tried it. But I'm starting to find like my favorites and I don't know, maybe I'll do a video soon where I talk about like which products I have found that I love and that are the reason why I don't really feel the need to try a whole lot of new things anymore as far as medical marijuana products go. I should do like a favorites video, that'd be cool. Um, if you have any other suggestions for videos, let me know in the comments, that would be cool. Uh, let me know if there's a particular product that you want to see and I'll see what I can do. But for now, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this. I know the beginning was a little bit silly, but I just wanted to do something a little bit more fun and creative and um, yeah, I've been filming videos, I've been making them, I've refilmed this video like two or three times now, um, but I didn't get the idea to do that intro until just yesterday, so I was like, oh, that's a fun idea, that's fun. Because I miss doing videos that are fun. I feel like I've just been sitting down and doing videos, like just talking to the camera about products, and I'm like, why would anyone watch this? I don't want to watch this. It's painful to edit them for me when they're so boring, so I'm going to try my best to try to do more fun ones, I guess. So anyway, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can hit subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you have a good day, night, evening, or whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!